part two. Uh, continue where we left off, I believe. Let's see. All right, let's see. Pertaining to the residents of North. Let me just restart over again, just in case you didn't catch the first one. American adjective, 1590s, pertaining to the Western Hemisphere and its uh, ab Aboriginal inhabitants, but I choose to say indigenous inhabitants. And if you look up the word um, ab, also on the uh, etymology dictionary, ab means away from, original. So, but although it does, this word does uh, mean it does is this, uh, defined as the original people. But as I look at words, "ab" means away from original. So it, it's all it's always a, a tricky way. These these people will act in deception. Um, from modern Latin Americanus, from America, QV, the sense of pertaining to the residents of North America. Now residence is also a, uh, a um, in servitude or just plain out slave code under to make you a corporate fiction entity to, to in, in this I'm gonna read something to you that, that, that basically says the indigenous people who they call African Americans, blacks, Negroes who are really Ebri and Moor and uh, you know the indigenous nation, nation um, but they get you away from who you are so they can p place you in, in slavery or in servitude but um, in, basically they just use new words to try to um, basically do the same old thing they always been doing and, and the words I'm saying is those who are not doing this I'm not talking to you no so um, this is only a few that's doing this or has been who's uh, assumed the power to do this under deception or deceptive practices. It says the in the sense of pertaining to the residents of North America of European, originally British descent. So these people are, are not Americans. According to these definitions, it's first recorded in see there you go again, 1640s. Look up uh, African American and see when the African American was uh, created. Some people say Jesse Jackson t um, brought it into uh, perspective. I mean, that's probably brought it into perspective, but the African American began in approximately about 1600s, the same time all this other stuff happened. Just check it out, read it, research it. This is for inter Education purposes. Education. So, you know, it's, it's not something I'm making up, nor anybody can get mad at me about this. This is all online. If they didn't want it out there, it would never be published or allow you to read it. Let's see. First recorded in the 1640s, later pertaining to the United States, French, American, Spanish, and Italian, Americano, German, Americanish, Feminine form Americanis, attested from 1838. The American beauty rose, so called from the 1886 American English as a sub language, attested from 1806. Um, American is from 1974. Let's see. Okay, now we'll go to the Webster. Dictionary. Look up what they said about American and America. Let me see. So, eight, Webster's 1828. Webster's Dictionary, America. Now, from Amergo Vespucci, a Florentine, who pretended to have first discovered the Western continent, one of the greatest continents first discovered by Sebastian Cabot, June 11th, OS. Uh, 1948. Okay, I already read that. I already read that, so I'll skip that. This, that was the first video. Then, American, adjective for turning to America. American, now a native of America 
originally applied to the aboriginals, I say the indigenous, or copper colored races found here by the Europeans, but now applied to the descendants of Europeans born in America. So the people that was found here was the original uh, indigenous people, copper colored races. And they were found by the Europeans. How are you going to find some people? That's like if the a copper colored people, that, but see the copper colored people don't, don't, don't meddle in people's affairs, man. They just live their life on the land, happy, peaceful, and then the ones that always want to try to come and uh, capture people. And, and you know, how are you going to capture people? And, and take somebody else's land. That's the, see, it's, 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 it's recorded in the history that people do this type of stuff. You see who, who is who. And this is not, this is just the truth, man. I'm not trying to uh, bring nobody down or up. I'm just telling you it's the facts. These people mind their own business and somebody's going to come and find their land and find them and enslave them. That's just like, what if the copper colored people would have went over there where they was at and found their land and enslave them. But we don't do stuff like that, man. <laughs> then, I'll read this to you too. This was from the 13th Amendment with 20 sections. Let me just read, um, this is the original uh, 13th Amendment, Section 12. This is why the Ebree and the Moore pe people cannot also term today to call them uh, Washita, Ashita, Cherokee, and so on. I'll get into that in a minute. These all these are the same people. Only thing that really separates the people and especially if you go back to biblical times and you believe in the great Abba, Yoah, what really separated the people was not, because they were all sons of Noah. So, so think about it. If you have brothers and sisters in your family, y'all the same people. Y'all might just have different ways of doing stuff. And, and the reason I believe Yahuwah said, you know, them people are not going to be my people because these other people, just they decided to do other stuff, like take people lands and kidnap people and do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> His people don't do stuff like that. And also, they worship other El Elohims. That's what separated, that's why he, he called the people to himself that would keep his commandments. That's what separates the people. A set apart people. He set apart a people for himself that will do what he says. So, Section 12, the 13th Amendment, Section 12, the traffic in slaves with Africa, and also you can look this up too. This whole land apparently was called Pangaea before it was separated into continents. It was just one big continent, I believe. And we're standing on. North Africa right now, what they call North America. Look, look all these things up for yourself. I'm just providing information for educational purposes. The traffic in slaves with Africa is hereby forever prohibited on pain of death and the forfeiture of all the rights and property of persons engaged therein. The descendants of Africans shall not be citizens. The term citizen means corporate entity. So we cannot be a corporate United States citizen. We're indigenous to the land. And because they recognize that, that's what they're saying right here. We can't, we can't put them people back in slavery. But they do it in slick ways today. And once again, I'm not talking about the good men and women living here. And I'm not uh, anti, uh, in the true sense of the word, American. They say this is the land of the free. Well, excuse this word, well, damn it, keep it that way. 